Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm sharing with you our new ultra fine glitters that we just had on the website. They are absolutely gorgeous, so freaking beautiful, and yeah, I just want to share them with you guys. So I've gone ahead and sugared them already. Here they are, sugared on the nail. Yeah, as I was saying, here they are, sugared on the nail. They are absolutely gorgeous, perfect for working with acrylic or gel, whatever you want to use, and they just look so stunning. So we have got Dainty, which is gorgeous like rose gold, a Ravishing Red, Squash, Gold Bar, Proper Green, Electric, Velveteen, and All Spice. And don't you just think as well with Pride Month coming up that these would just look absolutely gorgeous. Like, I mean, all your nails, just gorgeous rainbow glitter. Yes, please. Absolutely stunning. But yeah, they're available now on the website. I wanted to do a quick design with you guys and also just, of course, share them. So I'm going to show you the underside because this is how they would look if you were to kind of sprinkle them on and cap them um, in clear which again, just absolutely gorgeous, super pigmented, beautiful pop of colour. Absolutely, I just love them. Honestly, I absolutely love them. One of my favourite collections, I think, that we've brought. Um, they are available as single colours, but you can buy the whole lot if you want all of them, obviously. Stunning. Okay, so let me move these out of the way and get set up for the demonstration and the little nail design that I'm going to do, which is going to be super fun. So first off, I really want to show you guys how well they can burnish into the gel polish colours. So I'm just going to take Purple Rain and Velveteen, just to pair them together and do a burnished glitter nail. So I'm just going to do one coat of this gel colour, which by the way is absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. I'm looking forward to the summer coming in the UK we keep getting like really gorgeous days where the sun is out and I'm like yes it's here and then the next minute it's chucking it down I literally dressed for summer the other day and I was freezing by the end of the day I was like no I hate this kind of you know part of the season so I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds 60 seconds I'm also going to do um another way let me get another pop stick out hopefully you guys can hear me i haven't got a microphone attached at the minute hopefully the sound's not too bad i'm going to do another way where you can apply the glitter um but you don't actually burnish it into the gel it's just another way and a different texture i guess not many people know that there are multiple ways to get different textures when working with gel so i'm going to show you guys just in case you know you didn't have a clue which not everybody does, like I said. So one coat of that super pigmented, super pigmented gel colour. Absolutely stunning. So what we would do, I'm just going to get some paper because I need to collect up the excess, you know. And we're going to use said velveteen which is the gorgeous purple so before curing this coat we're going to go ahead and just lightly sprinkle and dust um that color the glitter sorry into that color you want to make sure you get all the areas really let it sink in get it beautifully coated so it is similar to kind of sugaring but we are going to add a top coat and it's just going to give an overall you want to come down the sides as well but make sure you do have gloves on because this amount of product people do get allergic reactions to products and these are the reasons why because you people are a little bit sloppy when working and doing this with your finger a bare finger is contact with products that you don't need to do um so if you're going to be wiping the sides of nails make sure that you are doing it with a glove or i don't know a silicone tool anything but your skin please i'm begging you Begging, begging you. Ooh. I was trying to find the glitter bomb brush, which I don't think I have. I'm at work in the office. I could go and get one, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do it with my glove. So I'm gonna come in. 
I would normally use the Glitter Bomb brush. I will show you guys how to use that. But for this instance, I'm going to come in just with my finger and pat in to the gel. Remember, we have a tacky layer on here. I've cured the gel, so it's tacky. And we're just rubbing it in. And it's going to give us such a gorgeous finish. But like I said, there's going to be two different finishes here because we're applying them in two different ways. So if I had the Glitter Bomb brush now, it's just going to be so much easier to get rid of that excess kind of, you know, the glitter particles that are sticking up. It's going to really help them lay flat, but, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't have it. I'm just going to stroke them down with my finger and hope for the best. Generally, it should be fine. You want all that glitter to be laying flat. You don't want any of it sticking up or any loose bits. And the brush just helps with that process. You can do it with your finger, it just takes a little bit longer. Can you see how we've smoothed all of that down? And then I am going to come in with the little mini dust brush, wipe off the excess. So that's that one. We don't need to cure that now. I'm going to leave it there a second. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a tickly throat. <clears> throat> okay, and this one is the one that we've applied into the gel. Um, and then cured it. So I'm going to go ahead and just dust off any excess that may not have stuck to the nail. Not very much at all. So that one's how this looks. Still nice and flat. It has the texture there, but we're going to come in and encapsulate it. So let's look at the difference of application before the top coat. One on the left, this one is burnished into the nail. And this one is you know sprinkled on beautifully so at this point for this one i would come straight in with my um top coat if i can find it here it is and come in with my top coat i'm going to apply a nice generous layer stunning absolutely beautiful so there we have it that is that one i'm going to go ahead and cure that in the light for a full 60 seconds whilst that's curing i'm going to go ahead and top coat the textured one Oof, damn i love this look i much prefer this look um since the glitters aren't laying completely flat on the nail, it really gives the depth and dimension of those particles. I mean, the other way of burnishing that glitter in does work and it does look really pretty. But when you see these side by side, you're just going to be like, damn, there's one clear winner that just looks extra sparkly. Um, but yeah, it's just down to preference. You might not want it like super, super extra, extra. Do you know what I'm saying? In this case as well, you just want to let the um, top coat kind of level out and become a little bit more, you know, smooth. And then I would top coat again. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. I know I haven't been on for a while, honestly. There's a lot going on. I'm currently writing and um, producing the courses for my classes, which has been in the works for quite a while. You know, I like to take my time with things, like to make sure they're absolutely spot on. Um, and I'm working with a fabulous lady to do those. And I'm so excited. Um, and just lots of other things as well, you know, life in general. So that's the one that we've burnished and this is the one that um, we sprinkled. I'm hoping you guys can see it looks a bit, can you see the actual difference? Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see guys. There is definitely a clear difference. Can you see? I do need to top coat the one on this one again. Look, can we see how the smooth sparkle and then you've got like the the one that's 
really all over the place, I guess, but just looks really fantastic. Love it. Let me know which one you prefer. Do you prefer the, you know, sh sprinkled on or do you prefer the burnish? This gives kind of like a metallic mirror finish. And that one's got like the glitter finish. But yeah, let me know which one you prefer. And that is everything for this video. Like I said, I, I'm going to do a design, but this video is already going to be, you know, 10 minutes long. Uh, my design might take a little bit longer. And I'm trying not to kind of really over edit my videos or anything. So I'm going to stop this video here. Give me a thumbs up. And <clears throat> wow, I'm going to go and get a drink too. That must be thirsty. <laughs> yeah, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you didn't already, and don't forget to tune into my next video. I'm going to be filming it right this second, and we're going to do a rainbow sugared glitter design, I think. That's what I've got in my head. Let's see how it turns out. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, remember, you are bomb.com, lit as fuck, and don't ever let anybody tell you different because you've got this, and I love you. Mwah. Bye!